Welcome back for another Waterfowl Wednesday, fellas. And today I wanna to talk a little bit about using an over-under for duck hunting. If you guys didn't know, over the summer I did purchase this Boom Boom stick and I got it because my buddy's dad was selling it for like 130 bucks. And so I bought it. I thought it was just gonna be a little cheapy over-under shotgun, sorry, Boom Boom stick to do whatever I feel like doing with it. And so I figured it would be a $130 gun, just beat it around, do whatever. But it turns out after I got home and like looked at it a little bit more and did some research on it, it turns out that this boom boom stick is fairly nice, like an $800 boom boom stick. So this is my other over under boom boom stick and this was actually given to me by my godfather and it was actually one of the first boom boom sticks that I ever got along with the Mossberg boom boom stick. And so I didn't, I've never used this for duck hunting purposes. I've used it for squirrel and rabbit hunting, and I've used this one for, um, um, what else have I used it for? Um, dove hunting, that's it. With this being so old, I didn't know if it could handle steel shot because steel shot is harder than lead. There's also a little bit of rust inside the, uh, the barrels of this gun. It, it's seen as use and abuse, as you guys can hear. It's got a little wobble in it. So I didn't want to use this duck hunting at all. But now, over the summer, I did buy this over under boom boom stick from my buddy's dad. And this one I know can handle steel shot. Is that a thing? Like, let me know in the comments. Are old guns able to handle steel shot? I'm, I, I, I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments. So this past season, I wanted to take this boom boom stick out for a duck hunt. And I did. Little did I know that that duck hunt was going to be one where I shoot a banded duck. Here comes some more. Here we go, here we go. Smoked him. Indeed, Seth. There's two. Oh, you dirty dog. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no. No way! <laughs> and that was the only duck hunt that this over-under has ever been on. So I wanna talk a little bit today on my opinions on using an over-under to duck hunt. First and foremost, this might be a big issue for some people, this over-under can only hold two shotgun shells. That's right, it's only got two barrels, it's got two chambers, and that's all it does. So if you are one of the people that likes to shoot three shells at every flock, this might not be for you. But for me, I usually shoot, probably on average, I shoot two shells a flock. So using an over under for me, that's not a huge deal uh, being limited to two shells. Also what I found is that when I only put one or two shells in my gun, I'm more accurate because I know I have to make my shots count. And um, so, you also conserve shells, which is kind of nice because I know sometimes you get to your third shell, the ducks are a little farther away than you probably should shoot at, but you shoot at them anyways because you think you can get them. And by dropping down to two shells, you will save shotgun shells to some aspect. So if you guys are the type of people that like three shells in your boom boom stick, uh, over under might not be for you, but for me, it's not a deal breaker. Now moving on to the chamber, this is chambered in three inch or two and three quarter inch. So no three and a half shells can go through this over under. Not a deal breaker for me once again. Now with this CZ Upland Ultralight, it does have a extractor and not an ejector. So the difference is this just pushes the spent shells out. It doesn't shoot them out like you see with some, some boom boom sticks. So um, this one, you have to take them out one at a time and then put two new ones in. So if you're in a fast paced hunt, like that one that uh, I shot that banded duck in. That one was pretty fast paced, so I was having having a whoosh, every time because it was just real quick, first light ducks coming in and then it kind of tapered off after that, but um, it, I, didn't, I didn't have too much of a problem with it. I think a downside to using an over under is that you do have to break it over to reload. So in an A-frame or a layout blind, that could be difficult, but I don't think I had too much of a difficulty with it. So just something to consider. Now this is an ultralight over under. And so that means one thing, it's really light. And when it's really light, that means you get a lot of recoil. So a little rule of thumb for you guys, if you're looking at boom boom sticks, a heavier boom boom stick will give you a little bit less recoil than a lighter one. I've shot clays with this, I've shot ducks, I've shot doves, and I've found that um, 
it does, you, you do feel it a little bit more than you would on like a gas operated system like that Winchester. So that is the biggest downfall for me using this with duck loads is I shot seven shells that day where I shot that banded duck and I was feeling it in my shoulder. So um, if you guys are looking to get an over under for duck hunting, I would recommend finding one that's not an ultralight. This is a great upland gun and that's what it was made for. So it works for duck hunting, but it's better suited for lighter loads. So if you're looking for a duck hunting one, I would suggest looking at getting a heavier one. Now the biggest thing for me is that this is a slightly nice boom boom stick and I want to keep it nice. Now luckily for me, I got this uh, little stock protector shotgun shell holder in my hunter's haul box. I slapped that on there, but I don't want to beat this gun up too much. I know with duck hunting, your gun will get beat up and it's very difficult to have a nice wood finished boom boom stick in a duck blind. So that is the biggest concern for me. I'm always having to be careful with this when I'm in the field because I want it to last. I want it to stay nice. Like I know it's not going to be like this forever and stay nice, but I like to keep my gear nice as long as possible, unless it's that Winchester and it's, it's, um, it's been through the trenches. We'll put it that way. So, um, I know this, this won't take as big of a beating as that Winchester did and has. So I try to keep this one pretty nice. So my personal opinion with using an over under to duck hunt with is it's a lot of fun. And if you guys have an over under, I would recommend you guys take it out and try duck hunting with it and give it a go. Something I've noticed about this over under is I'm very accurate with it. Surprisingly, like I feel like I'm more accurate with this than I am with the Winchester. And going from like the end of where the shell is on the Winchester and here, everything's the same. The barrel length is the same. Uh, it's just a little bit shorter, a little bit lighter, and pretty compact, but for some weird reason, I think I'm more accurate with this over-under. And another thing about over-unders here is that you can have two different choke tubes. So I usually shoot a modified first and then a full second, or I shoot an improved cylinder first and then a modified second. So uh, it's all dependent on what you like. And so if you wanna have a good open pattern from when the ducks are close and then when they flare up after you start shooting, Go ahead and have a tighter choke to where you have a tighter pattern when they get a little farther out. So that's that's a little bit of an advantage to uh, just a single barrel boom boom stick. But other than that, I do recommend taking an over under out duck hunting. It's a lot of fun. Uh, it's it's just something different, you know. It, it changes the game a little bit. And I would love to take this goose hunting, but I don't know how well my shoulder would handle a three inch double B one and a quarter ounce being shot out of this thing like that that's asking for a bruised shoulder but it it certainly would be fun and i i plan on next season going on a goose hunt with this just to knock that off the bucket list i think it'd be cool to uh i've, I've done ducks i've done doves i've done squirrel with this boom boom stick and so i think i want to add a goose and probably a rabbit and um I don't know, that's probably about it. So leave in the comments what you guys think about using an over under to duck hunt with. If you guys have done it before or that's, that's your main choice of boom boom stick to use, let me know. And as always, if you wanna support the channel, go ahead and pick up one of these hats or one of my shirts by clicking the link in the description of this video. It'll take you over there and you can pick one up. You guys can also follow me on my social media. I've got Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. So be sure to follow me on there and stay up to date with what's going on. But that's about all I've got for you guys today on this Waterfowl Wednesday. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a little something. And I hope you consider taking an over-under out duck hunting next season. Because it certainly is a lot of fun and it does change the game and make things a little bit more exciting. And I will catch you guys on the next one.